Number 100, identify the molecules with a dipole moment. And then we have CF4. So does carbon tetrafluoride, which is CF4, have a dipole moment? Now, what is a dipole moment? A dipole moment means that anywhere inside this molecule, there's an unequal sharing of electrons. This could be seen by the good old game tug of war. When you are not equally sharing the rope, one of the you know people that are pulling the rope is unequally tugging it to one side. And the other person wah, <laughs> doesn't have the, the rope anymore if it slips out of its hands. The same thing with electrons. When you have, and maybe I'll just erase this. So when you have um, two atoms represented by these two people, when they have electrons being shared, and maybe I'll just represent, you know, a pair of electrons as two dots, one pulls it away more closer to itself, and the other atom is, doesn't have the electrons. So, um, that's what a dipole moment is. It's that unequal sharing where one of the atoms is completely tugging the electrons away from the other one. And a dipole moment are in molecules that are polar. So dipole and polar, they go tomato, tomato. Do they go tomato, tomato? <laughs> or do they go together? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But anyway, let's keep going. Now, the idea here is that we might not be able to truly see if we're polar by just looking at CF4. The guaranteed way is you just take a second and draw the Lua structure because then you can see if there's any symmetry, if it's asymmetrical. And a Lua structure can tell you a lot of pieces of information. It's just one extra step, but you could find out your bond polarities, molecular polarities, hybridization, uh, geometry. So it's got a lot of information there. So there's a lot of videos on the channel just designated to helping you draw a Lua structure. We go step by step in those videos and I'm there every step of the way for you guys. But this one, let's treat it as, see if you can make your own Lua structure. Pause the video and see if you can just write out CF4 and then see if your answer matches mine. All right, so let's go. Carbon in the middle, surrounded by the four fluorines because fluorine is the most electronegative element and your electronegative elements do not go in the center. So it's gotta be surrounded by the chlorine. Not the chlorine, the carbon. <laughs> okay, now uh, each fluorine needs a single bond. There we go. And then each fluorine has six dots around it, giving it the octet. So love it. And last fluorine. Whoop, whoop. Carbon had the four valence electrons. It used them all, one, two, three, four. So it's good. This is the Lewis structure. Look how simple that was. Now we can look at this and play the snap game. S-N-A-P, snap it out. If your molecule is completely symmetrical, it is classified as being nonpolar. And if you have a nonpolar molecule, you have no pull. You have no dipole. So nonpolar means no dipole. Only when you have an asymmetrical molecule, there's that unequal distribution, and that's polar, dipole, polar. So you will have a dipole. So now if I look at this molecule, is it symmetrical or is it asymmetrical? Yeah, it's totally symmetrical. You got it. If I split this down the middle like a pizza, <laughs> you, you got four slices that are completely identical. You have the fluorine, another fluorine, another fluorine, and another fluorine. And there is no lone pairs for that carbon. So there's nothing that's adding to polarity. Everything is completely symmetrical here. So this is a nonpolar molecule, and maybe I'll just put down here that this is symmetrical, and 
If it's nonpolar, it has no dipole moment. Moment. Okay, there you go. And that's the end for this one. Let's box it off. And we are good to go. Oh, boy. We got to color it. Color. Maybe I just never had enough coloring time as a kid. Uh, try to make it up. <laughs> anyway, I hope this helped. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in future lessons. Check the channel out. We also got physics and math videos. And, I mean, if you, if you are ever looking for extra guidance, my brother and I, we always um, do private tutoring on the side. So we could help you out there as well. So we'll talk to you soon. All right. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.